Today we're doing a head-to-head -head comparison between DJI's LiDAR and mapping payloads, the DJI Zenmuse L2 and the brand new DJI Zenmuse L3. We'll take a look at what this means for surveying, mapping, and inspection workflows. So let's jump in. So the Zenmuse L2 is a high-precision aerial LiDAR and RGB mapping payload. It has an integrated IMU and a 4 thirds inch mapping camera. Now the brand new L3 does have two cameras, both 100 megapixels versus the 25 megapixels on the L2. And the new camera also offers way more returns with 16 versus the five of the L2. Now the reason why that's such a big deal is because it's essentially how many times the pulse of a laser bounces off a surface so things like the top of a tree canopy, the branches, and eventually the ground. So more returns equals more detailed maps. And also more returns also means it's a lot less likely for you to have to do multiple passes over a given area since you'll likely get fairly accurate details the first time. And this doesn't just help you in terms of areas with heavy vegetation, but it'll also improve details in 3D models like buildings and power lines. Now, one of the biggest changes is the massive increase in detection range, doubling from just under 1,500 feet to just over 3,000 feet. That means you can cover almost 40 square miles with the L3 mounted to the Matrice 400. And with all that extra data, the new L3 doesn't use a standard micro SD card like you'll see in the L2. The new L3 uses a CF Express Type B memory card, which has a 1500 megabytes per second write speed versus the 50 to maybe one or 200 megabytes per second write speed of your standard micro SD card. So that way, with this payload, you can handle all the data that's coming in. And with all these new features, we do get a bit more weight. So we're going from about two pounds with the L2 up to about three and a half pounds with the L3. And the increased weight is part of the reason why this new camera is only compatible with the Matrice 400. So if you do have a Matrice 300 or 350 RTK, unfortunately, this camera will not work with those. Now the L2 is perfectly capable for many mapping missions, but the L3 is better designed for larger scale, higher altitude and complex missions with a lot of vegetation. Okay, so what does this mean for you out in the field? So if you are doing standard mapping at a lower altitude, the L2 will be perfectly fine. But if you are tackling heavily forested terrain, long corridor inspections, or large volume mining, or if you need to fly higher for more coverage, then the L3 will be your better option. Also, the new dual 100 megapixel cameras will give you richer color in your imagery and also a wider field of view, going from about 84 degrees on the L2 to 107 with the two cameras on the L3. So to summarize, if your missions are smaller and you need a light payload, the L2 will be great. But if you are pushing for maximum coverage, if you need long range scanning or higher altitudes, then the L3 will be your better option. Also, if you'd like more details on the L2 or L3 payloads, don't forget to click on the link below in the description. And thanks for watching.